So the Packers have now lost four straight games. We just lost to the Vikings 24 to 10. And the same issues that have plagued us all season, I mean, especially the past four or five games, uh, continued once again. The Packers offense, first half, same story that we've seen the past few weeks. Can't do anything in the first half. I think it took, it was our first four drives. We had no first downs. And the thing is, on some of those first drives, Jordan Love was playing okay. He converts a nice uh, pass to Romeo Dobbs. Uh, he sort of scrambles around a little bit, gets a nice first down. I think that was the same play where there was like no receiver running a screen. All three guys are blocking something odd going on. Pretty sure it was that same play. We convert it, but then there's a, I think it was that, that was the illegal man downfield by Rashid Walker. So it takes it back. The Packers have to punt it. And then that next drive, Aaron Jones drops a pass. Luke Musgrave drops a pass. And it just, this Packers offense, it's not just one problem. There's countless problems that continue to show up time and time again. Like the receivers being in the wrong spots, um, you know, penalties from tons of different players on the offense, drops in key situations, and it just continues to happen. And there's nothing that has, you know, been changed to, to fix the issues. And it's like, you know, you look at Matt LaFleur and the, the way he's playing, calling games, and it's like, he, even if he was calling a great game, when these things happen consistently, when you beat yourself consistently, when you have tons of dumb penalties, when you drop passes and things like that happen time and time again, it's just really hard to, to win games when you have so many different mistakes. And so, you know, after every single game, you know you know the Packers coaches and everyone's trying to figure out what's going wrong because, I mean, this is their, their jobs, their livelihood. If they do this long enough playing at this level how poor they are you know how poorly they've been playing then obviously they're not going to have jobs for for uh for a while if this continues i'm not saying this season i'm just saying you know looking forward to the future so there's no doubt they're trying to figure out what's going wrong and they can't seem to fix anything and i do wonder if it just boils down to the inexperience and the youth of this team with it being the youngest team in football and um maybe i myself underrated that i thought that you know looking at all the young players there's some some positive attributes about all these guys, their speed, their, their athleticism, especially when you look at the Packers and their receiving weapons. Um, but it may just be that because we don't have that experience, um, these guys don't have much experience in, in any kind of game situations. They don't know the system, the scheme very well. And all these mistakes just continue to show up time and time again. And so it's tough to see it happen once again. And it's odd. Like in the third, fourth quarter, you know, we finally see some life from this Packers offense. And I'm not sure why that is. Maybe the Packers and Jordan Love, like, no, you, we have to do something. We need to, we have to do something or we lose this game. And it's like, you don't see that intensity until the third or fourth quarter. And it's usually by that time that it's too late, too little, too late. And, you know, we can't even convert there in, in the final, I think it was a fourth quarter when we have a couple opportunities in the red zone or at least one opportunity. And so offense continues to struggle. Let's hope it turns around. It hasn't yet. I don't know if it's going to turn around. You would have thought by now if they, you know, mess with some things, really looked into what's going wrong, what's going right. Maybe we could figure out, you know, how to fix things. And it hasn't been fixed. It hasn't been fixed. Aaron Jones was back. I think he only had seven carries. And that's the thing. On the first four drives, when you don't get a first down, then the Vikings are up two scores later in the game. Um, it's hard to rely on the running game. And so it's just tough. And then two on the defensive side, um, Kirk Cousins has played really well. Jair Alexander had a pretty bad day. There were multiple times where he was guarding Jordan Addison, rookie. Jordan Addison beat him. And, um, I mean, the Packers running defense played pretty well. I think we only allowed two-ish, two to two and a half yards per carry, only around 60 or 70 rushing yards. So luckily we held up in that area, but all day long it felt like Kirk Cousins was picking apart the secondary um, the tight ends receivers were really getting open in the zone and the Packers defense at times played well in the red zone, but it was still not enough, especially when the Packers offense playing as poorly as they have consistently. So um, going forward, I mean, the outlook doesn't look great for this season, two and five. Now, you know, we started off hot. Well, we were two and one, I think. Yeah. Two and one at one point. Now we've lost four straight lions, lose to the lions, Raiders, Broncos, now Vikings, and so it's it feels similar to last season. You guys if you guys remember that losing streak where did we lose five or six straight with Aaron Rodgers? And it's like after you lose four games in a row, you're sort of like I don't know. Like I don't know what's going on. Um honestly the first couple losses, like the loss to the Lions and, and Raiders were worse. Because it's unfortunate when you start getting used to losing. 
feel like in Green Bay for a long time, being a Packers fan, it's not that often that we have to consistently see poor performances. You know, back in the past when Rodgers was playing, the Packers have a few bad games typically, or if they had a few, they would fix it. Fix it. They'd have a great game. It would get us all excited again. Like, okay, we're going to be fine. But right now in this situation, um, there's really been barely any positives. Barely any positives. We're consistently bad. And so it's not a great place to be in. What? How do we fix this going forward? I don't know. Maybe it's just these guys getting more experience. But you would think by now we'd have like improved a little bit with more experience, but it's going the opposite direction. So I don't know if these young guys' confidence is shot. What's going on? I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. So another loss. Um, let's hope we can turn around and see something positive going forward. But right now in Green Bay, it's not looking too hot.